In this video I will be showing you my current 3D printer setup. Let's get started. My current 3D printer is a RepRap Prusa Mendel Iteration 2. I originally built this printer back in 2014. I chose this particular printer, the Iteration 2, because at the time the Iteration 3 required some laser cut parts and the threaded rods were much easier to get a hold of. Over time I printed off additional parts and improved it. Unfortunately I had chosen to go with some cheaper quality parts when I originally built it and that was causing the print jobs to come out not so good. A couple of years ago I revamped it and I ordered some new parts such as these yellow parts with the herringbone gears because they were a little bit stronger version than the original ones. The purple parts here were some of the original prints that I had done on this. I also ordered an aluminum heat bed here which before I had a little circuit board one and it took forever to heat up. I've maintained having some insulation under here and actually what these what this was was some thermal leggings that I had cut up because they were causing me to get too warm so I thought they'd make great insulation. Recently I printed off this power supply holder with a switch and a plug here because it made it a lot neater in terms of the wire management. The motors that I had originally gotten they were a lot shorter so they didn't have as much torque. Um, I've improved that by replacing everything except for the one on my extruder here which is one of those original motors. You can see how much thinner it is than the rest of them. Let me pull you in a little closer there. The reason I've kept that motor on there is because I wanted the print head to weigh less so there wouldn't be as much back and forth of with as much weight on it. Also it doesn't hit the belt with as it would with a bigger motor which would cause it to pull away from here. After I replaced it with some of the improved parts it actually started printing a lot better and the quality of the prints is actually pretty good now. However due to my original decision to go with the iteration 2 I'm finding that if I go above eight centimeters or so of print height, then it starts hitting the top bar here. And the only way to fix that would be to go with the iteration three, which didn't have that problem. So I've decided to try out a different printer that has a much better build volume. In my next video, I will be unboxing and assembling the Creality 3D Ender 3 printer, which I got for under $200. I actually only got it for $180. I'm going to put the link in the description, and that's a lot cheaper than anything I could actually piece together myself. Now, the reason I've got, I decided to go with the Creality printer is because it's actually based off the Iteration 3, and I've heard some really good things about it, so I'm really excited to try and set that up and get that going. Now, there's some things about this printer that I definitely really like. I have much better motors on it than I believe comes with the Creality printer. However, the Creality 3D printer runs at 24 volts, which means it's going to heat up a lot faster than this one does. I usually get this one to around 100 degrees, and it takes 10 to 15 minutes or so. And I've heard with the other printer it actually can heat up in about 5 minutes. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or it helped you. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.